So it's great to welcome them here today at this special concert. Please put your hands together and welcome with their musical director, Dave Little, the Wigan Youth Jazz Orchestra. Thank you. the senior Wigan Youth Jazz Orchestra and uh, this is a really important gig for us every year because we've been rehearsing together as a, a new band, we reform every September because of course the nature of uh, working with young players is that uh, they get to 18 and most of them at that point go away to university so you re-recruit and you move on to the yeah. training band you start a new band really every September uh, and so for that reason we don't actually perform any music throughout the whole of the first term we try to get together a brand new set and this gig here uh, the Christmas uh, uh, Sunday Jazz in Wigan uh, is the first outing of all our new music. So we're a little bit anxious about some other stuff. Fingers crossed everything goes according to plan. We've worked incredibly hard to pull the music together. And we started there with an arrangement, one of the very, very best big band arrangements of all time by Lenny Niehaus, a great saxophone player, former member of the Stan Kenton Orchestra of the great jazz standard, all the things you are. And you had a chance to hear a trumpet solo from Jess Malone. Teddy Audrey, Teddy Audrey, Teddy from Catherine Rose, and we also heard from the old part of the piano. That's a wonderful work for our saxophone section, Spanish saxes, the saxes. We're going to slow things down a little bit and change the style. We'll play an arrangement by a gentleman called Frank Mantooth, who uh, had a really unique 
style of their composition and arrangement. So he's taken one of the, the oldest of old jazz tunes, Harlem Nocturne, and done his thing with it. Harlem Nocturne, we're going to feature Owen Parr on piano.
fantastic uh, tune by Earl Hagen and uh, arranged by the late great Frank Montooth, who came to Wigan, I think, just once uh, and uh, uh, played a gig at our, at our jazz festival uh, towards the end of his life. But uh, great to have that in our library, and uh, every now and again, when you've got a piano player good enough to play it, it's uh, wonderful to bring it out. And Owen um, is only 18 years of age, uh, but he's already. Uh, past diplomas up to graduate level, so you know what you would normally do when you went to three years of music college. He's already done it, and he's only 18. He's a remarkably talented young musician. I'm proud of him. Well, we're going to uh, feature now two more of our extremely talented players. They're all talented, of course, uh, but it's nice to feature one or two of them in uh, little pieces, uh, especially uh, suitable for them, especially suited to them. We're going to feature Olga on trumpet here. He's going to play some, uh, some jazz and an incredibly difficult lead line on trumpet. And also our amazing lead alto player, Grace Butcher, who's without doubt the best lead alto player we've had in the band for uh, at least 12 years, I would say, all the time that I've done it. She's a ter really terrific saxophone player. So uh, this is a piece that, uh, in the summer holidays, I like to go through uh, new releases from various publishers and see if there's uh, new exciting music that we could try in the year ahead. And this one I chose, I thought, oh, that sounds like a challenging piece and a bit different, we won't have anything else like that in our set. And I really liked it. Uh, and then once we started rehearsing it, I thought, mm, maybe we've bitten off a bit more than we can chew with this one. But uh, a few weeks ago, and I'll remember this, it just started to come together. And we're all starting to really enjoy it, having gone through the really uh, quite uh, challenging process of uh, finding all the right notes and all the right rhythms. It's a tune by Tad Dameron and it's called Hot House.
We can use jazz orchestra. Um, fantastic solo there from Grace Butcher. Thank you, Grace. And um, the young lady on fourth trumpet, who's even though she's fourth trumpet, she's a fantastic trumpet player. And we're really blessed with a brilliant trumpet section of August. We've got a few years left of August, so she's got a chance to move the ranks, so she'll be doing that very, very soon. But uh, last summer, I was in the van with uh, Ishi, who's her brother, and Owen. We were coming back from the Bridgewater Hall. And I was just talking to Ishi, I said, yeah, does Olga do uh, Ishi into jazz? You know, doing the improvised solos. And he said, oh yeah, she's brilliant. And she'd never done one. So we thought we'd have to do something about that. So we found that piece that you'll be hearing very regularly from Olga uh, with the band going forward. So Olga Asgard on Thank you. Well, speaking of trumpets, we're going to feature two others. We're going to feature Matthew Caswell, our lead trumpet player, and Jess Malone again, uh, our second trumpet uh, player. And they're going to play um, an arrangement that was done by the Airmen of Note, the American Air Force big band. Uh, they've got a phenomenal band and, of course, a phenomenal trumpet section, and they're featured two of their uh, trumpet players on this one. And uh, really great that it's available and published for anybody to buy now. And so we've just done just that. And we're going to feature them in this beautiful arrangement, not quite. Um, how you're used to hearing it, reharmonized, I think you'll find it very beautiful though, of somewhere over the rainbow. Such a lot to do to control the band in that. I did a great job and you worked incredibly hard on listening to it 
a lot at home, it's absolutely obvious that that's going on. Ollie Morgan on drums, then. Thank you. Right, plenty more percussion and uh, drumnastics and all sorts going to go on in this one. It's an arrangement by Dave Wolpe of the great Duke Ellington favourite caravan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, wow. Solos there from Owen Parr, a gentleman one more time. And <laughs> um, a young man who's just received a scholarship offer for the Royal Academy of Music in London, ladies and gentlemen, the phenomenal Ishi Asghar. <laughs> She is also brilliant at adjusting microphone stands. <laughs> they only do this in the fourth year of the music college. Yeah. But it's a vital skill if you've got a bassoon in a big band, which we have. Very unusual to have a bassoon in a big band, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, Robert has uh, come through the training band. And uh, during, I remember Robert, during the, the horrendous lockdown times, uh, we managed to keep the bands going. It was very, very difficult to do so. Um, and uh, every single rehearsal we had, a lot of people fell by the wayside and all the rest of it. Every single rehearsal we had for the training band, Robert was there. Incredible commitment and I uh, sort of got to know him a bit as, in terms of playing this music and thought we definitely got to give Robert a chance to get a But even though he plays the most unusual instrument for the band, he's a brilliant bassoon player. He's the first bassoonist in the Wigan Youth Symphony Orchestra. And so we thought we'll have to find a piece which we can feature him on, but just in the depths of my mind. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Now where's the music stack going to go? <laughs> in, the, in the depths of my mind, I could remember seeing a, a, a YouTube clip of someone playing a bassoon in a big band, and it was the Woody Herman band, and Frank Tiberi, who was for many, many years, was the band leader after Woody Herman had died. And he was a tenor saxophonist, really, but he played multi-woodwind. And he played this piece. And I thought, let's do a version of Pavan to feature Robert on his amazing pursuit. So we're going to do that right now. This is Woody Herman's version of Foray's Pavan.
He's a tuba player, really, and uh, playing the bass trombone. It was a brilliant bass trombone play. But bass trombone was your lockdown activity, wasn't it, Henry? It's become a really, really great bass trombone player. But he's a tuba player, really. He's just got, where have you got scholarships to? What places? Royal Northern, where else? Uh, Trinity. Trinity, London. Uh, Birmingham. Birmingham. All right, all right, bragging. <laughs> well, you can see the caliber of Henry's uh, playing. Henry K, tuba and bass trombone. Uh, here's a, a piece coming up for you now that's actually on a, one of our uh, CDs and I should pause and just tell you that we are really looking forward to, uh, I think in March or April, I can't quite remember what, anyway, towards the end of next term, we're uh, taking a weekend out together uh, to make a CD. Paul's going to be with us to help us technically and I'm really excited that Steve Parry, who's an old friend of mine, um, and he's actually the, he's a genius of a musician, he's one of those people who can play every instrument to an amazing standard, he's a great composer and a great arranger, he can just do everything. And um, I haven't seen Steve for quite a long time and I had the fortune to do a little something with him um, uh, back in the last summer. And I said, you wouldn't be free to come and produce a, 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 a recording with the jazz orchestra, would you? And um, he said, yeah, I'd love to do that, absolutely. You know, I'll do it for 10 grand. <laughs> no, he didn't even mention the money. The great thing about Steve is, he, he's, he's not known to these young players, but he's a fantastic character. And uh, as I say, an amazing musician. And he's responsible for all the musical arrangements on the uh, ITV programme, The Voice. So there's a fantastic live band there, but the person who writes all the arrangements and gives them the music they have to play. It's an incredibly technical job on a, a TV show that's evolved in like that. Is Steve Parry, so you can imagine what a phenomenal musician he is to have that gig. So we're looking forward to that. But this one is on our latest uh, CD, which was recorded live at the Jazz Festival with James Morrison, and it became the title of the CD as well. It's a piece by Jeff Jarvis, and it's called Honk. One, two, one, two, three, go! <laughs>
Well, first of all, what about a fantastic round of applause for the honk? We had to wait a long time for a long time. We had to wait a long time for a long time. Few months. Well, we'll there, I'm on that. And a terrific opportunity that piece to showcase a few solos. So, Olga Asgard again on trumpet. Machine on trombone. Olga on piano. I've got a lead guitar there from Joe on guitar. Like Joe. And uh, on alto, someone who's been in band for the last few years and was great bonus to have him with us again during the, the lockdown times, came along during that time. But he's probably going to be your last gig, isn't it, George? Because you move into the Isle of Man, basically. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> so uh, he's sadly had to uh, hand his cards in, and uh, that's uh, a great shame. It was a great opportunity to hear him play wonderfully there. George Ferrara, on alto. Thanks, George. After all that excitement, we're going to just uh, chill out a little bit now and play some cool jazz for you. Uh, we're going to feature Jamie on the soprano saxophone, um, and uh, this is a beautiful little ballad by Jeff Taylor, and it's called First Light.
Jamie's mum and dad went away to uh, Lanzarote just uh, before Christmas. Look at them. Jamie had a massive party at his house when they were away. <laughs> you know about that. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. No, she did not. Uh, anyway, we've come to our uh, final item, but before we play it, um, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank, uh, first of all, uh, my colleagues who helped me to run this band. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to work together with Rick and with Darren. Between us, we've sort of got all the bases covered uh, in terms of all the specialist knowledge, but I couldn't do it without them, and I really do mean that. So uh, join me in thanking Rick Halliwell and Darren Glover. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, not everyone in the room as a, as a parent, of course, um, but uh, many of our dedicated parents are here, and often it gets forgotten that without a support network behind every one of these young players, and of course in the training band, this wouldn't happen, and uh, it relies on the incredibly supportive, patient uh, parents who are prepared to spend loads of money on instruments and petrol and everything else that's required to make this happen. It doesn't go unnoticed, and we're incredibly grateful for, uh, for all the effort that our parents uh, make. So if you're not a parent, give the parents a round of applause. Thanks. <laughs> to all the members of the band because uh, it continues to be a real privilege to not only you know continue the history of, of keeping this band going and uh, continue the work that Ian did for so many many years but also it's a privilege to work with some of the, the best young people that you can ever wish to work with it really is a joy so to all the members of the Wigan Youth Jazz Orchestra <laughs> Okay, so our final item. Um, I, uh, again, as I said before, was just browsing the internet, as you can now do, looking for new music, and uh, I came across this one, and I liked it because it's titled, um, you'll know it, you'll know the tune, uh, but it's a Latin version, essentially, of uh, something which is what they always done as a swing number for obvious reasons. And uh, there's a little bit of room here at the front, so we feel like doing a bit of salsa dancing. You're very welcome. <laughs> Burn off a few Christmas turkey pounds and come out a little dance on the front. Not with me. But you're very welcome to it if you want to. <laughs> so a little Latin and swim so this is it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swim. <laughs>
Colin Carr, Piano, Matthew Cosway, Jordan Sawyer, and Tommy Oldley, Captain John Solo, and Patricia Oli and Catherine Stubbard Gates. And the rest of the Wiggly Show is the Sound of Everybody, and all those folks. Thank you.